Hey everyone, Brandon Prime here. Quick update on the LT4000. As you can see, the deck is off of it. It's uh, sitting right over here. From first glance, I have not looked at the underside. This deck looks to be in very good condition. Spindles, that one's a little on the stuck side, but this one here moves really well. There's no obvious holes in the top of the deck. Let's flip it over. No obvious holes. Looks like possibly a soft spot in the middle. Nope. Nope. It seems to be a relatively solid but rusty 42 inch deck. The rust does the rust at all does not bother me. It's just if this deck is solid, which it appears to be, which for these decks is kind of rare and uh, hard to come by. I could probably resell this deck for more than I can get for that tractor, or probably twice as what I paid for that tractor. So. Um, that's a good that's a good score a good 42 inch deck tractors running good let me uh quickly fire it up for you it should start I drove it to the gas station yesterday. It did pretty good. Um, got a fresh tank of gas in it. Uh, I had a full tank, as I mentioned in a previous video, but it was old gas, so it made this motor run like snot. So it's actually it's running pretty good now. Here is the head from the uh, original engine. Um, I plan on selling it to a fellow YouTuber. I just pulled it off. It does not appear to be cracked or nothing that I can see offhand. That's just a head gasket material right there, so you're going to have to clean this all off and uh, clean it out in there. Here is the engine. Here's the rest of the head gasket right here. Uh, apparently it was blown. Let's just see if we can see where it was blown. don't know. Possibly right there. I don't know though. But um, here's the shape of this engine here if you want to see what the bore looked like. Um, doesn't feel too bad, but... Uh, if you need any more parts, um, this is what you're getting right now. You're going to get the head, all the head bolts, and the valve cover, and the, uh, lift, and the push rods. But if you want any other parts, like this metal piece here, let me know. I will throw it in for no extra charge. Also, you're getting, obviously, the valves, the rockers, all this stuff in here. All this stuff is loose because uh, no pressure on them now, but the valves... Do move as far as I know. Let me put the phone down from it. Yep. And yep. Both valves, both valves do move. Also, you're getting all the head bolts. Um, both valves move. Nothing stuck on the head. I got I got your shipping quote, so I'm going to email you shortly. To tell you what your shipping quote is. Um, but uh, that's pretty much it. Quick update on the Dynamark. Engines in surprisingly the uh, crank pulley was not seized and it actually came off. That's uh, actually quite shocking and actually surprised me. I'm going to have to uh, redneck up an exhaust a bit. That's part of the exhaust that was on the racer. Then I got this muffler right here that I'm going to weld on to the end. Um, also, there's something stuck underneath the flywheel, so I'm probably going to have to take the flywheel off on that engine and uh, clean it out. But um, that's pretty much it for now. I meant to do a video last night, but it got too late. Actually, it didn't really get too late. It just mainly got too dark, so I couldn't do an update. But I just pulled that head off a couple minutes ago, so it was just taken off. So I'm going to bring it in the house and uh, get it packed up. I'm going to, um, I'm going to uh, wrap it up in a the bag, then we'll put packing peanuts in there. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully the video just didn't cut out on me. Uh, my phone's starting to die, so... But uh, that's pretty much it. So I'll talk to you later. Please keep it redneck like always. And uh, please subscribe and comment.